trying to quantify my manlyhood in some measurable way. Six inches. I think we're going to name this segment, What's It Worth? Or, or, check out these oddities. Peripherally related video game items from my collection. We're going to review them, we're going to take a look at them, and we're going to try to appraise them and figure out what they're worth in today's market. I have not looked up the value of any of these oddities I'm presenting for you guys to review today. Let me know in the comments below what you think they're worth. And at the end of the segment, I will post how much they're worth. I won't know as of recording this before I leave you guys what it's worth. We'll react to that next week. The first, the first item I wanted to bring to your attention. I don't know if a lot of people know about these. I got this in the late 2000s, maybe early 2010s. The Resident Evil deck building game. I bought the first one by myself. I think I have them on the early like 2012 videos from this channel. This was like the base set. And my friends actually bought me the two expansion box sets. I can't find one of the boxes. I think it got ruined in a, when I had a little bit of water back up in my basement here. But I love Resident Evil games. You know, it's horror, but it's not really true horror. Uh, people who like, si I don't know how people like Silent Hill. Game Fs with my mind. I tried to get Lester to learn this game and he hated it. <laughs> he hated it. I feel like high-end premium adult board games or tabletop games are, are trendy. And I think a lot of them hold their value. So I'm going to guess all three expansions should be worth 200 bucks. These were expensive back in the day too. They're at least $70 per hut. Oh! Queen A used to play football in high school, guys, for real. Outside linebacker, baby. NFL Extreme 2 football. This is probably, yeah, 1999. So it is vintage. I'm assuming it came out as a promo item for the game, uh, for the PlayStation. Let me know if you know about this. I don't think it's worth very much, but I think it's just neat and cool to have. CFL balls are bigger. That's Canadian Football League. We have bigger balls. If I was to estimate a value on this, probably only 20 bucks. That's probably why I'd keep it. I would sell this if anyone wanted to buy this off me for like $50, I would. Check out at the end of the segment. Was I correct? What were you? Were you correct? Am I wrong? What do you think this is worth? Let me know. And last but not least, the rarest item. I know this one does hold a lot of uh, value in it. I traded a uh, N64 and some games for it. Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw Controller. For people who don't know, Resident Evil 4, that's my jam. That's my game. One of the top three games of all time for me. I love it. Where do you have? Oh, there are two Resident Evil items in this list. I don't like that. I like to separate them. But anyways, I don't know if this is brand new or not. I don't think this came wrapped or anything like that. But I've never opened it since I bought it. The guy who sold it to me said he never opened it. It still looks like it's factory um, condition. There's some weird little things inside of it too, though. So I don't know. I don't even know how to open this thing. You see little specks of like I don't know, fabric or whatever inside there. But overall, beautiful. Beautiful display item. I have it at the bottom of my display cabinet here. If you've played the game, you know that there's one section uh, in Resident Evil 4 where you're in the castle. And there's like a display cabinet that looks like this. And that's where you get the rocket launcher. Apparently with this controller, when you raise the controller up, I don't know if there's sensors in it or what have you, but that's how Leon Kennedy raises his gun. That's crazy to me. That's cool. I've never used this thing before. I've never watched people use it. I'm going to guess. <clears throat> we'll go by price charting. Uh, used value on this would be $300 Canadian. Brand new, it should be worth $550. How do we do? Let's check it out. And that's it for this week's vlog. Thank you very much for joining me. Next week, I commit to you guys, we will have a name for this vlog. Let me know in the comments below if you have any fun names. I want something that's not like, ooh, the vlog. Or, you know, something obvious. One thing that helped me feel okay about this sale was that 
I was letting these items go into the hands of people who would appreciate them. Chase after the right price said that was one of the biggest drivers for him. I don't know if I believe him or not. I'm pretty sure he likes the money. But that's next week. This week, the return of the segment sold out. It was spelled like that intentionally. It was not my dyslexia. This week, I really had to meditate on getting rid of something. A, a completed set from my collection. I listed on eBay uh, a couple weeks ago my complete run of Goosebumps books. 1 to 62. Look at this guy. Big benching. He asks me, how what, what do I bench press? That's a little personal, don't you think? Trying to quantify my manlyhood in some measurable way. Six inches.